When Natalie Wood died tragically in late 1981, she left behind her a half-finished thriller movie called Brainstorm. Well, that movie finally opened two weeks ago. Tonight, we're going to talk to the other stars and the producer of Brainstorm, who had to finish the movie without her. Plus, we have our own interview with Natalie Wood on the set of the movie, which just happened to turn out to be the last interview that Natalie Wood ever gave. God, that's remarkable. A true, one-of-a-kind scientific breakthrough. God, wonderful. I'm very excited about Brainstorm. I think it's it's more than I had planned. I think we're very lucky to, to ha not only have the movie finished, but to have finished it as well as we did. I made that for you. It's a gift. What is it? It's me. Most of us first heard about the movie Brainstorm two years ago. It got a lot of publicity for all the wrong reasons. One of the stars of the movie, Natalie Wood, died just before the filming was completed. The question then was, can Brainstorm be saved? MGM temporarily abandoned the picture after Natalie's death, but producer and director Douglas Trumbull fought legal and emotional battles to continue the project. If I had felt at any point during the process that this movie shouldn't be completed because it was going to be exploitive or tacky or uh, or or poorly executed because something really major was missing I certainly would have called it off like everybody else mm -hmm. and I had to do a very serious analysis for myself in my heart to find out whether we should go ahead or not and and I had a very clear view that this movie could and should be finished. The reason Natalie Wood's last piece of work has gotten and is getting so much attention is that she was loved and admired not just as an outstanding actress, but also as a loving wife and mother. While she was filming Brainstorm, we spoke with her and her husband, Robert Wagner, about their fairy tale relationship. It turned out to be Natalie's last interview. I was walking down the hall. I was under contract at Fox. That was my, um, that's my grammar school, really, was 20th Century Fox, because, you know, they really did have a terrific schoolroom there and everything. And when I, while I was under contract, I saw this fabulous-looking guy who was about 18 or 19 walking down the hall, and I said to my mother, well, when I grow up, I'm going to marry him. So that was it. I did. I think we are a dream couple, mm -hmm. because we do have all these things going for us and we have been so lucky and been so fortunate and the public has been great to us mm -hmm. and the work that we're in we've been very successful in when that's been wonderful to us and we have each other i think the main thing is to is to try to be together as much as possible so that everybody you know so that you're with your kids enough and with your husband enough and 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 with yourself enough and, mm -hmm. and doing your your own thing enough we blew it didn't we we sure did I don't understand. Nothing's changed. Brainstorm is a science fiction movie about a revolutionary invention. The invention is a machine that can record every physical, emotional, and intellectual sensation experienced by a person. Through the machine, these sensations can then be re-experienced by another person. Academy Award winning actress Louise Fletcher plays scientist Lillian Reynolds. This is my project, and I don't want to see it end up on some defense scrap heap before we know what it's really about. When the movie was um, suspended, I was quite upset because this movie was important to me, I felt. And I also felt that Natalie was um, good in the movie, and she loved doing it. And it was the first uh, movie she'd done in quite some time. And I thought it was important that it come out for her. Cliff Robertson also stars in the picture and talked to us about the reaction to Natalie's untimely death. We uh, were all shocked by it, but there was never, at least among the creative people, there was never a feeling that, well, this is it. We were all aware that she and I, Natalie and I, both had four days' work left. So there was not, we knew that it was quite feasible, indeed, fully expected them to finish the film because with four days when you've already shot about eight weeks it's and they already shot the ending mm -hmm. so these scenes that she had were not that critical it was just a matter of doing some rewriting and uh, we were all pleased that Doug Trumbull hung in there
In the movie, Natalie plays the wife of one of the scientists who invented the futuristic communication machine. And through the machine, Natalie and her husband, played by Christopher Walken, rediscover their love for each other. You may kiss the bride. Nothing crazy about you. I think she would have been very proud of this role. She was very excited about the film. Yeah. And I was very delighted to have this opportunity to work with her and the rest of the cast. And they worked together beautifully. Everyone was really turned on by this movie. Yeah. And she was very personally involved in it. And I think it really shows. I think it's one of the best things she's ever done. Brainstorm has been saved. It's a complete movie. Audiences across the country are appreciating it for the outstanding special effects and the thrilling plot. But we won't soon forget what first brought this movie to our attention. Right after Natalie's death, MGM Studios declared the film unsalvageable and decided to file a $15 million insurance policy. Eventually, of course, they changed their mind, and now we have from MGM Studios a tribute to Natalie Wood. <laughs>